welcome to a special birthday episode of INCW. Um, Ryan, aka Gary Bloomfield, or whatever you want to call him, uh, it is his birthday. It's not Bloom. No, they're not the same person. I'm confused. Anyways, uh, Ryan is a lifelong fan of the NWC as a whole. Um, e- even though we just recently lost a promotion, he's still a fan. Uh, the 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 caveat to that is we don't necessarily know how long his life is. We thought it was going to be over before this year. Uh, so we celebrated it last year and now we're celebrating it again. So we're just going to keep this going. Um, and yeah, I, I guess as long as the NWC is around, so will Ryan. Uh, so the NWC is a, uh, it, it's now canon that we're the life source of at least one child on this planet. So with all that being said, we have... A fairly incredible card. Um, I just threw it together three minutes ago, three to five minutes ago, something like that, right before audio issues, and uh, I'm fairly proud of it. Uh, all Ryan wants in his life uh, was to see Damian Black versus Viking for the NWC world title, and conveniently right now, the NWC world title is vacated. No one has it. Um, so, yeah. Sounds good to me, but that's just one match. And I'm not going to pull everyone away from the regularly scheduled Friday night evenings for one match. Granted, two out of three falls, world title on the line, huge match, but it's not enough to pull people away. So I added some more. I know that he's a fan of Door the Destroyer and Average Joe as a team. They're not officially a tag team yet, but with enough team matches under their belt they may form something it might be there we just got to see if they can string together those wins and what better place to find out than on a birthday episode and then we have for one night only the return of two members of the chet lemon mafia lemonhead one and lemonhead two established tag team in other forms and fashions other places in the universe not in incw but they're gonna put it together they're going to face Door the Destroyer, and uh, <laughs> they're going to face Door to the Destroyer and Average Joe. So it, I feel like that's going to be pretty solid, super huge fan of where that's going to get us. And then the one match that I, I've I've spoken with Ryan over the year, um, you know, just to kind of keep up with him, just in case we had to do one of these again. Um, We... We disc- he he's really a big fan of like how well Dan Smith has been doing. Um so let's see Dan Smith against one of the arguably one of the greatest INCW heavyweight champions of all time as he faces off against Victor Sokolov. So Sokolov's been on a bit of a losing streak, but at the same time, like he he's always he's hungry. He's always looking for that big win and what better big win than over the current heavyweight champion granted it's a non-title match cannot stress that enough it is a non-title match but will Sokolov get stretched in a thousand holds or will Dan Smith get dominated in the center of the ring for the three count I don't know I know Prescott's probably gonna get involved also I meant to say this the other day on Discord, but I I kind of got tired and I went to bed and I forgot. Uh, if I were Prescott, I would be very upset that uh, Tully Blanchard is running around dressed like me. Like, Tully Blanchard comes out with a tag team and with a singles guy, and he's always dressed in a red jacket with sequins on it. So, I don't understand why, like, If I was Prescott, I would call out Tully Blanchard and see what I could get done there. But that's just me. That's just me. And then, of course, we've been over the main event. Keep in mind, Viking will not be wearing the crown in the ring. But, so Damian Black, he's on a tear. Last night, uh, he actually ripped through a good portion of the Wild family. Um, He's a very successful uh, champion, uh, promoter. All of that good stuff. Uh, much like myself, game recognized game. Um, s- but then you have Viking, who has been on a climb. Uh, he went away. He got he got retired, or he got fired, rather. Uh, not retired. He got fired, 
And then ever since his return, it's just been a steady up climb for Viking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Former INCW heavyweight champion. That's one thing I've never done, by the way. So that sucks. Uh, anyways, uh, yes, the Viking. Viking, I believe, was Twitch champion once. I believe he was prospect champion and maybe hardcore champion. Uh, but he's always fallen short of that heavyweight gold. Um, so going from mid card belts to world title belts would be a huge bump. And he's like I said, he's also king of the ring right now. A former NWC World Heavyweight Champion or World Head Champion Brawler Beckett was also king of the ring. So maybe King of the Ring is a deadline or a beeline directly to the belt. I don't know. We're going to find out right now when I click this X button and start this damn show. Sorry about that. There was a small doggo issue. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I just read the whole nonsense about Damian Black become. So <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I wasn't a fan whenever Damian Black earned his spot in in this match. I wasn't I wasn't happy about it at all. Um, I think that as part of the committee, we shouldn't even be allowed to be in there. And my knee-jerk reaction was to insert myself into the NWC world title match. But that's not fair. That's not fair to the people who bust their ass on my roster. Uh, it's not fair for me to be the representative when realistically all I do is sit behind a commentary desk and speak into a mic. Um, so it came down to people like, more recently, Dan Smith. Um, it came down to people like... Uh, like uh shade shade was another one that crossed my mind but with with like the steady run of his success that viking has had i felt and and he's got the fan support like people have been wanting viking in some type of title hunt for a minute um so i figured this was the best way to do it and it just so happens that i couldn't find a place to make it happen until now we got average Joe coming out to the ring first, of course. Uh, you don't they're not they're not a team, so you can't expect them to come out together, but man, they they dress awful similarly. Sim I, I don't know if I can say that word. That might be another one I can't say. That's bad. I'm learning I don't know English from my own stream. Okay, so I see the points, and I appreciate people going for pretty and pink. And I'm not trying to sway anyone to go for the Chet Lemon Mafia. However, if for some reason Pretty in Pink loses and the predictions are over, that means all of the points you put in to Pretty in Pink vanish into the eighth there. See what I'm saying? So, like, if you want a chance to potentially win some points, all you got to do is put, like, ten points down on Chet Lemon Mafia, and that way the points don't go to waste. Somebody might get it. And for anyone who didn't know or who couldn't remember, uh, I have I've been kind of keeping it on the down low. But uh, yeah, Door the Destroyer is the INCW Money in the Bank winner. That's right, Door the Destroyer, INCW Money in the Bank winner, which means Door the Destroyer can cash in at any given time on Dan Smith, on Splash Mikey, on the winner of the NWC World title match see what i'm saying here or maybe maybe door wants to hold on to it and cash in uh on the tag team champions with average joe at the same time average joe's team the camp they have uh they have a shot to they can pick whoever they want in their team and send them after whoever they want so it, it, it could be interesting Uh, just a little backstory. Uh, I guess since since the Chet Lemon Mafia is just kind of faded away, um, got you know beat out of contention here in INCW. 
I, I guess it's time to kind of reveal the people behind the masks. Um, the individuals uh, in the two uh, like Hawaiian looking shirts or whatever. One of them was uh, Ray Pegasus, and the other one was Ray Santos. Um, both of them from the World Tournament. Uh, and then these two individuals, I don't know which one because they look so similar. Uh, one of them is Ace Davis, and the other is Jonathan Doztuck. Um, all solid members of the uh, Chet Lemon Mafia. And here we go with the stretch muffler applied already. Joe trying to get close to the nether regions of another man and, and making it hurt in the process. Not surprised. Not surprised in the least. Lemon drop number one sent to the outside. Number one's going to have the black gloves. Number two has the wrist tape. <clears throat> Notice how they, uh, they didn't pull a saboteurs on us. Oh, went for the chop after a couple of well-placed kicks trying to chop down the tree that is big, uh, Average Joe. Oh, no. Average Joe lining up. Oh, with a big splash on the lemon head number one. Slides to the outside of the ring, just not feeling it. And now fighting back furiously. Kick to the midsection again by Average Joe. Handling up on lemon head number one. Are they is this gonna go to a count out? That's not gonna be that's not gonna be very cool. Oh, and here we go. This never fails to upset me. Because it's a birthday episode, we'll restart the match. We'll restart the match if it goes to, <laughs> it goes to count out. This is bad. Oh! One good swing. At a count of eight. Joe slides in the... Wow! Whoa. Okay, that was... We'll, 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 leave, we'll leave it to Ryan. So it didn't... It, it ended by count out, but it didn't end by count out. So we'll leave it to Ryan. Do, do you want to restart it or do you want to move on? I know, I know Ryan's in the chat. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll restart it. That was, that was embarrassing. I mean, it was funny, but that was embarrassing. <laughs> Call it two out of three falls. Okay. And here we go again. Second fall. And Joe just grabbing the lemon and tossing him. Oh, no. Joe's trying to peel the mask off of the lemon to tell us which one it is. I already told you what their identities are. We don't need to see it. Arm ringer. Now Joe getting his gluteus maximus stomped, literally. Oh, springboard into the, the moonsault or the, the lemon tamer, as we'll call it. <laughs> oh, man. These guys are too funny not to keep around. <laughs> Lemonhead one sent into the corner. Fireman's carry takeover by Lemonhead one. Goes for the backbreaker reversed into an, a leg sweep clothesline combination by Joe. And now Joe having his way with Lemonhead one. the double stomp. Joe's got to be about 450 pounds. That's rough. Stomp to the midsection. Super heavyweights abound. Lemonhead one. We didn't even get to see. We haven't like Dora. <laughs> he needs lemonade. You, you know, it's, it's funny. 
because lemonade is actually what stirred up this. In- ha ha ha! Look, I said stir up. Um, <laughs> lemonade's actually what stirred up the reveal of the Chet Lemon Mafia. Um, because lemonade was had after Chet Lemon died right here at this commentary table. Apparently, it was my fault. <laughs> oh! Lemon head number two dumped on his lemon head. Tag in Door the Destroyer. How's it going, Violent Killer? We got a birthday episode. Allegedly. Um, Average Joe, Door the Destroyer versus Lemonhead 1 and Lemonhead 2 of the Chet Lemon Mafia. Oh, with the running knee. Drops him on the back. Or the destroyer sent into the corner. Lemonhead one tags in Lemonhead two. Snapmare takeover. Ooh, and a double kick. Follows it up. Beautiful tag team combination right there. And Lemonhead one keeps up the pace. Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper applied. Will Door the destroyer tap? No. He rolls through and a big stomp to the back of the head. Well, then it looks like next Sunday you're going to get a birthday episode. <laughs> Lemonhead one, send into the ropes, Dora. Oh, Dora got checked. Dora again with that running knee in the corner. You see the difference between uh, Dora and uh, Average Joe? And then the Chet Lemon Mafia. Like, you, you, you've seen a few tag team maneuvers on behalf of the Chet Lemon. Oh, big clothesline. Sends Dora to the outside. Dora and Average Joe are effectively in it. They see themselves in two singles matches. That's where this is going right now. Meanwhile, the Lemonhead 1 and 2, they know they have someone that they can tag in if it gets too rough. They know they, can, they have someone in the corner that can kind of help them with some tag team maneuvers. Joe and Dora, beautiful Russian leg sweep right there. Dora and Joe can actually prove me wrong uh, throughout the course of this match and the third fall uh, if it goes to that. Spinning back fist, beautiful combination by Lemonhead 1 sends Dora back in the match. Squaring up and Lemonhead not... Ooh! Just gets ran through by Dora, but right back to his feet. Looked like he was going for some type of maneuver right there, but had second thoughts. And here we go. The, I don't know, the lemon stomp, I, I guess. I don't, I don't know what to call it. I know it's not the unicorn stampede. It's the mafia, mafia beatdown. I don't know. We haven't seen anybody use that in a while. The lemon squeeze. There we go. That's what it's called. Lemonhead number one wisely rolling to the outside. What is Lemonhead number two doing here? Gets outside the ring. Toe kick. Went for another one and catches a clothesline. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Got there. Uh, they did lose to get a contract, but I brought them back for one night only uh, for the birthday episode because a lot of people didn't know that they were part of the Chet Lemon Mafia. Um, they didn't even know the Chet Lemon Mafia existed. And, you know, I wanted to kind of give them a second chance to not necessarily get a contract, but, you know, to be seen uh, by a few more fans. Absolutely no. Oh, we got people voting for Chet Lemon Mafia now. Points will not be wasted. Dora has Lemon Head number two up. He rolls through with the pin. Why is the ref? One. No.
Dora once again has his lemon head number two up. Oh, his back gave out. The back gave out, and lemon head number one is going to capitalize with a super kick, but got caught. Fall away slam. Lemon head number one needs to struggle back to his feet. Average Joe. Palm thrust. Oh, and a super kick. Lemon head number one to the top rope. What's he got here? Oh! Shooting star press. One, two. Oh, no, not even a two count because Dora got in there. And now the lemons are diving on Dora. Dora German suplexed. Average Joe with the back body drop. Kick to the midsection. And Lemonhead number one just gets launched. No, there, there's a lemon drop, but we may never get to see here. Average Joe. Ooh! That's a whole lot. Don't want anything to do with it. Dora is down on the outside. Average Joe is now effectively in a two-on-one handicap match. The boom into the corner. Head number one. Over the top head scissors takeover. Beautiful combination right there. Forearm shot. Oh, average Joe answers back with one of his own. Swinging neck breaker just puts the. And lemon head number one is right back up. Joe having a little trouble picking him up and catches a clothesline. The crowd is going wild for this match. Kick to the lower back. Joe, oh, with the leg drop. Couldn't capitalize quick enough. Goes for the pin. One, two, three and they win it 2-0 average joe and dora the destroyer the original thigh master is the name of that leg drop i don't lemon drop number two was a little a little slow to get in there or one i i forget which one was in there at this point now congratulations to those who voted for dora and joe get your points Gonna put in the next set of predictions. Average Joe and Dora the Destroyer both really happy about this win. Dan Smith is going to hate that name, by the way. <laughs> the one I just gave. <laughs> anyway, that might stick. Y'all see it whenever it scrolls across the screen. All right. Will the Siberian psychopath dominate Dan Smith? Or the, will the submission senpai <laughs> send, send Sokolov packing? Say that five times fast. Holy crap. Well, so with the uh, with the lemon heads, it's easy to tell because they're all dressed differently. Uh, I just couldn't remember which, like in my mind, visually, which one got the pin, took the pinfall. All right, Victor Sokolov with George Prescott in tow, making his way down to the ring. So for uh, 
for Ryan's sake, I really hope that... So I am for Sokolov's sake at this point. I really hope Sokolov comes out of here the victor. I really do. He's... The whole camp really just needs a win right now. Average Joe's been holding it down. Um, at least here in INCW. But at the same time, I don't know if he's going to be able to handle the submission senpai. Probably get some questionable results if you uh, Google that. So don't. Everybody make sure to get your points in. Don't let anybody's points fade into the eighth here. I know we're voting again or we're like pulling against one another. But uh I, I believe it's time like we, we gotta we gotta pull this together, come together as a community and not waste points. It's really sad when it happens. And it's even sadder how often it happens. Yeah, no, that I said, I was that don't do not do not <laughs> Dan Smith will Dan Smith will not appear. So the odds on favorite, uh, if you just go off of recent memory, the odds on favorite to win this is Dan Smith. Um, however, Dan Smith uh, has, n uh, to my recollection, has never been in the ring with a, f a former champion the level of Victor Sokolov. Um, with that being said, like I, like I said, just going off of recent uh, recent times, recent memory, Sokolov has not been on the greatest of terms with the win column. Um, him and those L's have been hugging up pretty tight. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, also, just a reminder for those of you who weren't here for the beginning of the show, this is a non-title match. Think about it. Like how next week we're going to get Kenny Omega versus Brian Danielson. Title's not on the line, but it's going to be so good. Oh, my God. And bear hug out the gate from the man who looks like a bear. Kick to the back of the submission senpai. Jawbreaker goes for the step up heel kick. And Sokoloff like a house of fire. But Smith with the reversal and the chop. Oh, and a chop back. Chop fest. Sokolov with the kick again. And Smith with the clothesline sending the psychopath to the outside. Yeah, it hasn't it hasn't all been rough. INCW's just apparently I the like the karma or, or the chi around INCW is in a drastic shift. Um maybe Maybe Mercury is in retrograde. I don't know, man. <laughs> Something going on. Outside. Let's hope this one doesn't go to a count out for the first. It's only a single fall. But if it goes to a count out and, and Ryan wants to, we'll restart it. Big suplex on the outside. House of Fire match here. Sokolov in rare form. Dan Smith able to keep pace. Couple of well-placed elbows. You got to wonder why Sokolov went for those ropes in particular when he could have went for the ones that Smith was right next to. Ooh, laying in those back elbows. Using the ropes for leverage to get a little bit more oomph behind him. Has Sokolov twisting neck breaker. Going again. Just twisting at the head. Goes for the pin here. One. No. Kick. Goes for the kick to the back. Misses it. Sokolov has him up. And just throws him away. Takes him out like the garbage. Prescott just cannot keep his nonsense out of the ring. Good heel kick right there by Smith. Smith now. Going after the leg. Kick to the midsection. Double underhooks applied into the Liger Bomb. Prescott now, once again, with the distraction. Sleeping. Oh, into a backbreaker. And then just throws him onto the chair. Technically didn't use the chair. So, ooh. Jawbreaker 
Smith is not having any of their nonsense. Fireman's carry takeover. Smith's firing right back. Has it. Oh, with the complete shot. Stomp to the midsection. Has the clover leaf applied. Knee right in the upper, right between the shoulder blades and the, down towards the lower back. Trying to, we've seen Sokolov submit. Oh my God. Oh my God. In record time, Dan Smith has submitted the Siberian psychopath. What did we just witness? He weathered the early storm and with, with the quickness got the submission. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Smith might be the absolute most dangerous competitor we've ever had in title contention, let alone as the champion. My God. Even the fans of Sokolov are cheering for Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the submission senpai, Dan Smith. <laughs> Congratulations to those of y'all who voted for him. All right, and now we are on to our main event. While we're here, while we got this going, uh, while we're waiting on a loading screen yet again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in uh, for Ryan's birthday episode. Solid, solid turnout. Huge fan. Love it. Um, also, you know, of course, take this time to wish Ryan a happy birthday. I haven't quite yet during the stream. Uh, congratulations on making the rotation around the world one more time. Um, keep it going. It's you know hasn't been the best of years for most of us hopefully yours has been good and hopefully the rest of them will be better uh better than poor jojo who still shows up for the past five years or yeah five years holding a microphone that i disconnected on like year two keep it going jojo damian black Former INCW champion. <laughs> Let you know how the year's going after this match. Yeah, this is... This is gonna be... A barn burner. Two out of three falls. The veteran... Oh, yeah. Had to, had to fake out a fan. Uh, former let's let's go back through the the laundry list former incw heavyweight champion former incw tag team champion uh leader of the invasion that almost shut the doors of incw uh what led to our very first holy wars um yeah that was a uh, the best man <laughs> confirmed for sunday's episode damian black versus miro Owner of PWA, I figured that went without saying. I didn't know what gear to put him in, so I hope you don't mind that he's in a singlet. Um, there were two options. I chose one of them. And here comes the king of the ring. INCW's own Viking. When there's not a champion involved, or when there's not a, 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 yeah, a champion involved, I like to have the hometown hero come out last. Making his way down to the ring. Pulling at his crown. As I've said multiple times in this uh, in this cast, or in this episode, uh, Viking has been on a tear this season. Um, anyone who's gotten in his path has, has fallen victim to either Hammer of the Gods or... Uh, the Blood Eagle. 
So it, it can go either way right here. That's what it's about. The NWC World Heavyweight Championship. Look at that. Love that belt. That's my favorite belt. Not going to lie to you. <laughs> as far as looks go, that's my favorite. Vikings ready. Damien's ready. Oh, Damien with the double leg takedown out the gate. Viking was going for a knee or a punch. Damien stepping up to the plate early. Got the double scrape of the face. Uh, technically, PWA is more prestigious because it's Prestige World, uh, Prestige Wrestling Association. So, but yeah, the the NWC title has the like it's the highest of all. Think of it like the NWA World Heavyweight Champion back in the territory days. Damian Black. As a veteran should, taking control of the beginning of this match. Viking with the fireman's carry. I hate he had to use it, but you, you got to do what you got to do. And here we go. Viking with the brawling style, just driving the face of Damian Black into the turnbuckle. I could only hope that the turnbuckle wasn't there. <laughs> or the padding wasn't there, rather. Great minds think alike. Both of them. Oh, went for the drop kick to the lower back. Viking once again into the corner. Damien, ooh, with a big chop. Has Viking and returning the favor with the full Nelson slams into the corner. Damien with the choke. Referee administ I don't know. Administering a five count. There we go. I almost said admonish, and that's not. I don't think that's a word. If it is, it doesn't belong here. Damien. Oh, caught an elbow. The double leg takedown and the hammer fist by Viking. He's fighting back into this match. Viking can't take a break right into here. He can't slow it down. If he slows it down, Damian Black will take complete control of this match. He needs to go all in. Brawl, just fist of fury. Damian. Oh, my God. Looking for that superplex. This is what won and retained the INCW Heavyweight Championship for him for so long. Superplex onto Viking. Didn't go for the pin right there. Angel's Descent. Okay, that's what it's called. Goes for the pin after that neck twist. Two, no, barely a two count. Damien heading outside. Taking a little bit of a breather. What is he doing here? Hey, bud. It's no disqualification. Or it's disqualification. Yeah, you can't. There you go. Put the bat down. Damien planning on using nefarious means. Double leg takedown again. The hammer fists. Viking has to string together a little bit more than that if he wants to get this win here. Takes Damien to the center of the ring. Has him lined up. Oh, and in a stomp to the chest. Big back body drop. Look at the hang time Viking got there. Damien rolling outside the ring and gets a sledgehammer. What is he doing? Why does he keep going for things? Viking on the outside. Both of them slide back in. Oh, went for the big boot and got caught. The inexperience of Viking. Big belly to back suplex overhead. My God. Damien just methodical in his approach to this match. Given uh, that was Blackout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blackout used to be with the, uh, with the choke. But I guess they took that out. Viking in the corner. He has him up. Oh, gut wrench suplex. Viking with the explosive offense. He can't string enough together. He got him again with the DDT. He can only live. He can only live on reversals forever. Not forever. 
for a little while. There we go. Got the sleeper hold, rest hold, sleeper hold applied. Um, trying to weaken Damian Black, but like I said, you, you put him in a slower match, a slower pace match, Damian Black is going to excel. Viking has to get the, the two falls. He has to get them quick. He needs to get the first one for sure. Has him up. Oh, with this fall away power bomb. Goes for the pin here. Wisely puts himself between Black and the ropes. And only a two count. Viking cannot get frustrated. Bag body drop yet again. Damien. Setting up for something. Viking with the reversal. Oh, and the double sledge right to the face. Damien wisely rolling outside. Veteran maneuver right there. Viking looking for something. Northern Lights suplex. Didn't hold on to it. Thought he was going to hold for the bridge. And dropped him on his head. Damien I, telling us that he's a thinking champion. Is every move Damian Black has named? Because that's insane. Like, oh, and then a boot to the chest again. Viking destroying the core, setting up for that that vicious Blood Eagle submission. Got him in that camel clutch. Will Damian submit right here? No, Damien wisely slipping out the back door. Viking catching his face on that middle rope. That might cause some problems later on in the match. Got him in a deadlift German. Beautiful. Tell us what it's called. <laughs> Viking rolling back outside, giving chase, not letting Damien get away from him. Damien out the back door. Not wanting to... Oh, Viking! Caught the right hand and slapped him in the face for it. Okay. <laughs> sleeper hold. Sleeper hold applied. Viking immediately with the reversal. He telegraphed it. Saw it coming. Has black up. And down again with hammer of the gods. Damien. Not quite done yet. Again with the Northern Light Suplex. Holds for the bridge. One. Two. Oh! Just a two. Just a two. Viking with a right hand staggering. Putting Black on his ass. That was two if you ask the ref. That was two. And Black Black might think it was three. Big back body drop trying to get back into this match here. Viking with a fireman's carry takeover. I really wish people in INCW quit using that. Hate it. Viking has Black up. Oh, with the power bomb. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Viking with the first fall. Viking is one fall away from being your NWC World Heavyweight Champion. Black with the arm ringer. Viking with the high knee. Black is against the wall. It's do or die and a spine buster. Spine buster by, Bla by Viking. Has Black again. Has him up. Hammer of the gods. Goes for the pin. One, two, no, no. Black kicked out at two. <laughs> Viking with a big right hand but missed. Countered by Black. Judo throw by Viking. Has Black up and down with a sidewalk slam. Biased official. It should be tied at one each. You've seen what this ref does to my people. How is he biased? <laughs> Viking sent back into the ropes. Still got that single fall. Oh, no. 
Black once again looking for Angel's Descent. Big right hand. Heads to the top rope. Will Vikings survive this one? Angel's Descent! Black slow took a little bit of the damage. He's going for it. Is he going to go for the blackout? Has Viking? No! With the Northern Lights suplex. I forget which one that one is. Two! Vikings at it two again! Vikings at it two again! Big clothesline by Viking. Backs up into the corner. What's he thinking here? Viking with a spear! Spear by Viking! Goes for the pin! One! Two! No! Come on! <laughs> Viking is looking to bring it home to INCW. The spear, the spear of the gods, Odin's spear, couldn't finish off the blackest angel. Damien fighting for everything he's worth, proving why he is a veteran in this business, how he has stuck around for so long. Sends Viking into the corner, looks for the drop kick of Viking with eyes in the back of his head, like the gods are looking out for him in this match. Viking now has him. Ron darts him into the middle turnbuckle. Viking looking for Odin's spear one more time. Oh, Black reversed. Big slap by Black. Sent into the corner. Black once again setting up for Angel's descent. Oh my God, no. No, straight out of Queen Jolene's playbook. Angel's descent to the outside. Damien putting it all on the line. Has him up Viking. Viking not phased. Viking isn't phased. Kick to the midsection. <laughs> Blow to the back. Kick to the midsection by Black. Snapmare takeover. Grinds the feet in his face. Kick to the midsection again. They're keeping it outside. Black trying to hoist Viking up and a vertical suplex on the floor. If there's a count out right here, Viking is your winner. Or no, if it's a draw. Oh, I don't I don't know what happens if it goes to a draw. We, we may have a problem. Vikings sit back inside. Black gives chase. Doesn't want the title to be decided that way. At least he's got that level of integrity about him. Vikings been busted open. Kick to the midsection. Swinging neck breaker by Black. Sends Viking into the corner once again. Setting him up for yet another Angel's Descent. I am getting lightheaded. I can't feel my fingertips. <laughs> Angel's Descent! He needs to roll over and get the pin. Just drape a shoulder and you can get... He's not done. Viking isn't done! Rolling him over. Boot to the chest. Then to the midsection again. Goes for the pin. One. Two. No. Viking is trying everything in his power to end this match here. Kick to the midsection. And DDT. Just plants him with a DDT. What is he doing? We never see Viking go to the top rope. What's he Take a big elbow drop. Missed it all. From Valhalla itself, the elbow drop missed. Belly to belly suplex. Damien 
has to have some respect for Viking at this point. He's standing over Viking, surveying the damage. He has to get that pinfall. He could have had Viking at this point. He's been down for a 20 count. Viking stirs. We've only got 14 minutes left in this match. Oh! Damien goes for the cover now. One, two, Viking kicks out again. Damien is livid. Ooh, kick to those already damaged kidneys from all of the Angel's descents. One of which being directly to the outside. Viking back on the top rope. To the top. Viking! Viking reverse the Angel's Descent! And dumps Black on his face! He's going for the elbow drop and connected! Go for the pin! One! Two! Three! Viking is the world champion! It only took... 16 million Angel's Descents for him to figure out how to counter it! But an elbow drop from Valhalla sealed the deal. Viking is your world heavyweight champion. <laughs> oh, how's the year going, Ryan? How's the year going now? <laughs> the holy shit champs. <laughs> On his macho man-ish. <laughs> <laughs> My <year is> shit. <laughs> Viking, a well deserved championship. The world champion. He's waited for so long, three seasons, to get to the top of the mountain. The gods will feast in his honor on this eve. September 17th, 2021. Oh my God. Beautiful match. Best world championship match ever. Congratulations to Viking with all pettiness aside. Happy birthday to Ryan. I appreciate everyone from tuning in. Let me get your points dulled out. With great pride i vote for i give everyone their viking points be sure to tune in sunday god only knows what's gonna happen then y'all have a good one